hi guys welcome you all for embedded world and this is our blog and this is our whatsapp group you can join it's going so active and agenda of this tutorial is controller area network what is can and what happened without can what is can again architecture of can then how do can bus communicate so this is what the first example for without can and with can see without can in the olden days that is before 1990s so see this n means all our nodes are easy individual ecu see all used to communicate so that means the wiring harness become more so wiring harness is nothing but the bunch of wires that is more but if you included the can see it's like the wiring harness is very less so obviously the weight weight of the vehicle will become less then the mileage will get good mileage more or the maintenance also it's a simpler so these were the main advantage of with can and without can and that may be the most uh, important interview question so what would be the vehicle will uh, become stuck with if without can see without can this is what the old olden days vehicles that olden days vehicles uh, there might be a lot of wire harness so the weight of vehicle also more so mileage will be less maintenance uh, maintenance will be very tedious because if there is any one wire uh, any due to harm one wire get stuck means then it is very hard to diagnose but in this can communication it is not like that so can some of the main advantages you can uh, it, it will uh, generate the error code also by using the error code we can you can easily identify where the error is okay so that we will discuss later as of now without can and with can i, I guess you might have some idea then what is can it's a control area network it's a vehicle based um, vehicle based uh, bus controller standard designed to allow the microcontrollers to communicate with each other that is um, if there is no host also it can able to communicate so just for communication purpose can is used many people have, have got a confusion like what is can can is a hardware or whatever it is so can is nothing but it's a, just a communication channel it's a series of wires it forms as a bus it is a message based protocol yeah obviously protocol is nothing but set of rules so message based set of rules that is uh, for the can there will be some um, restrictions some rules and regulations to be followed the messages to transmit and receive so that's what in general automobiles can is uh, using in almost all the automobiles nowadays so it is a uh, one another important question is can is a serial base based communication protocol it's a serial based uh, protocol that is serial based communication protocol so the way of mode of communication is serial so this is the architecture of can so that is not more uh, see in two ends you have a 120 ohm resistor that is the one is can high and can low so uh, whatever device you can connect a number of devices you can connect that is device is nothing but node you can consider then uh, but in each terminal you have to uh, put up 120 ohm resistor the main advantage of 120 ohm resistor is to avoid the signal replication that is uh, for example uh, being this asynchronous uh, communication is asynchronous communication also so that and all we'll uh, discuss later as of now you just uh, go through what is architecture of can so this 120 ohm resistor also have some um, impact why the 120 ohm resistor in general terms it's to avoid the noise due to as asynchronous there will be more noise will occur so to uh, avoid those noise uh, noise you can use the 120 ohm resistor so can bus used to two dedicated wires that is one is high and low see this is what the uh, architecture uh, flow architectural flow see this is uh, here i have mentioned 1.25 volt to 2.5 volt and 3.75 volt that is can high 2.5 plus is can high and below 2.5 is can low like that i have mentioned so that is two uh, two communications happening two signals having sent so moreover the starting bit of the can is one one is nothing but a recessive bit see can high it become it's a uh, reaching 3.75 it is a recessive bit that is from it start with 2.75 then uh, it will be then once it will reaches to 3.75 it is uh, it becomes a dominant bit that is it is uh, it is equal straight to zero zero is nothing but dominant bit so dominant bit that is can low will accommodate 3.75 and 1.25 volts and recessive bit uh, that is a uh, one it will accommodate only 2.5 volt see so the pot difference potential difference between uh, this can high and can low is 2.5 volt so that's what the can high and can low this is what the uh, 
uh, voltage flow it's, it's a very simple don't want to confuse more it will start with 2.5 and uh, that is a recessive bit of one a recessive bit is also called one the one is called recessive bit vice versa then uh, when one whenever the can high it will reach us 3.75 then whenever it is a can low it will reach us 1.25 under the dominant bit that is zero then again it will uh, continue to uh, change to one so this is called is also called as baud rate uh, changing one to zero zero to one with unit time is called baud rate that also we'll discuss so note when data bits are being transmitted the can high line goes to 3.75 and the can low drops to 1.25 thereby generating a 2.5 differential between the that is voltage difference between the two lines since the communication relies on the voltage differential between two bus lines the can bus is not as sensitive to inductive spikes electrical fields or other noise so that is mainly because of the 120 ohm resistor that we will discuss in next video how it will works the 120 ohm that is virtually we will discuss so this makes this this makes the can bus is more reliable so as the see this is a key point can communication is not sensitive to inductive spikes inductive spikes is nothing but some error spikes is nothing but sudden increase or sudden decrease that spikes electrical field lines or electrical fields or other noises so this make the can bus as a reliable choice for networked communication on any equipment mobile equipment that is mobile equipment so i got you i guess you got something in this video if you like please like and you can share and in this uh, playlist i will be discussing all about can can communication so if uh, just uh, like this playlist i'm just separating all the playlists once the subscriber count reaches thousand then uh, in the can communication i'll show you one practical video moreover same the uds playlist also going on i'm just uh, segregating the uds playlist once the uds uh this channel got 2000 subscribers then i am planning to make you um, make you to show the how uds works in the real time workshop so that also i am trying to make but for that i need more subscribers to approach anything so so please share share and subscribe our channel catch you in next video